Hey, what's going on guys? Steve here from Mobox Tech and today we'll be talking about the iPod Touch 6th generation. Now this one right here in my hands is the iPod Touch 5th generation which hasn't been redesigned since late 2012 so they've been selling old technology and it's pretty crazy how people still buy these and it's just kind of sad but you know what? Apple tends to do that a lot. I'm not I'm not shit talking Apple because I do like their iPod products. I love their MacBooks. But honestly, that's kind of it just kind of sucks because it's just old technology and to stay up to date with all these smartphones that are coming out. I mean, like Note 4s and all that stuff. It might not be a big deal to you guys, but to me it is because I'm a freaking music addict and I freaking love my iPod. I love having this little iPod Nano the little touchscreen one because it has Bluetooth, it has radio, and it has all my music and it's freaking awesome. So, but for those of you that do care about iPods, you're in luck because I have been stumbling upon the iPod Touch 6th generation leaks and I'll go ahead and put those up for you guys right now. Alright guys, so let's talk about specifications. So first off, According to MasterHerald.com, it's going to feature mobile payment with Apple Pay. So it's going to have NFC integration just for the Apple Pay, as well as, or just like your iPhone 6 and your iPhone 6 Plus. So that's going to be pretty cool. And also, it's going to feature an A9 microprocessor chipset, which is going to be a lot faster than this old one from the iPod Touch 5th generation, because this one lags a shitload honestly it freaking sucks I mean the hardware is really nice on this but it just the software updates could not help this one it was just it's just too slow it lags a lot and it just bugs out tons so I'm pretty excited for that also it's supposed to come in two screen variations being the 4.7 inch model and also the 5.5 inch model which is really cool because if you guys do not really want, you don't need a phone, you can just pick up the iPod Touch 5.5 inch and it'll look very similar to the iPhone 6 Plus. So that's pretty cool, honestly. And it, it supposedly it doesn't matter either variation, they're going to have retina display, so that's freaking awesome. Thank you, Apple, because you're finally staying up to date somewhat. You know, at least giving us 1080p because this one's stuck on 720p and honestly the screen resolution sucks. I really don't like it. People can argue that, but I don't like it. And also, out of the box, it is supposed to feature iOS 9, which is going to be great. There's a lot of improvements, you know. It's not a whole overhaul like, you know, iOS 7 was. But there is a lot of minor changes that will make the user experience a lot better. So I'm really excited for that. So overall, my first impressions on the leaks, and according to Master Herald, this is where I found the leak at, through Google+, Plus. so that's where I found the specifications. So don't get mad at me if that's not, you know, 100% correct. That is what I've been seeing, I've been doing my research. So hopefully it's all true. <clears throat> and as you saw from the leak, it is supposed to feature an all solid color on the iPod Touch because these ones you're used to a solid color on the back and then having a white display or you're used to the space gray with the space gray back so that's pretty cool because especially if they make a product red edition one I'll definitely really want that one because I really love red it's gonna be pretty awesome so I like that they're gonna have one iPod with one solid color all the way around that's going to be pretty awesome. And of course they're going to stay true to their chamfered edges around the screen and the aluminum body. So that's great. If you're excited for this new iPod that's supposed to be coming out, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. And go check out my other videos if you're new to the channel. And if you really like them, be awesome and subscribe. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.